Hey guys, this is a quick setup for your Hipstreet tablet. So first of all, in order to get to here, first of all, charge it up. Okay, you're gonna need to charge up your Hipstreet tablet for at least 12 hours. Okay, um, that's just better for the battery if you do that. Okay, and then run it all out and then charge it again. Okay, so you have to do at least three full cycles of that. So uh, after that, you're just gonna press on this. Just hold this down. If it doesn't um, turn on right away, just hold it twice and then it will turn on. Um, as soon as it turns on, we're gonna get with the setup right away. So we see um, the language that we want to pick. So we're gonna choose English, Canada, why not? Uh, we're gonna go next. So it's gonna take a few seconds. So don't worry about it. It will take a couple seconds to get everything going. Uh, it's just setting up the language right now. Now these tablets are pretty slow. Um, now I'm talking about obviously these uh, low-end tablets, let's say. They're not that expensive, so therefore the RAM isn't the best. However, they're pretty good for what they are. Um, so be patient with it, your setup will take some time, okay? So we're just going to run through it uh, as quickly as possible throughout this video. Okay, so our next step will be to identify our Wi-Fi network. Now you're going to see a huge selection of Wi-Fi networks around your area choose the right one, put in your password, and then go next, okay? You don't want to skip that part because the tablet interface and everything has to do with the internet, okay? So don't press skip, go on and sign into your internet, okay? So I'm going to sign into mine right now, um, so I'll be right back. So once again, once you put in your password and everything, you select your internet, it will ask you, um, it'll take a few seconds, and then it'll ask you about this, your Google account, if you have one, if you don't, and um, you should always sign into it once you have these type tablets or create one, okay? So we're gonna say we don't have one, okay? Um, just for now. Okay, and you would at this time put get an account, okay? So if you don't have an account, get one at this moment. Um, I'm gonna sign into mine just to show you guys. So I'm going to switch yes, okay. You can always go back with the arrows. So you're going to put your email. Um, you should sign up for a Gmail account and, you know, use your password. You can use the same password here or a different one. So I'm just going to sign into it right now. Okay, so once again, you're going to get this thing saying signing in. Um, so basically, like I told you guys, at this moment you should create one or you just sign into your Google account. Uh, from here, you can restore and backup and all these things. Um, just leave them on. I would suggest leaving them on. Um, so we're just going to scroll down, see all this, and then just keep tapping there. Okay, so next, um, if you want to buy any apps, you do have to set up your credit card. You can do that later on. At this moment, we're not going to set up a credit card. Since we want all the free apps, we don't want to pay for anything. So just not to get that mixed up, we're just going to go not now. Okay. Uh, so let's just leave AC, that's fine. Sure, why not? Okay, so that's our main setup for this tablet. Now, something that you do want to set up right now is your Play Store. Okay, so we're just going to tap there. Um, I'm going to show you where I tapped again, just in case I went too fast. It's this circle right here. Okay, I'm going to tap on those. And here you go. Here you can see all your apps, okay? So these are the standard apps that you get with this hip street. So you do get some good apps such as Chrome. Um, what else do I see good here? Uh, Google Maps and some other ones. But um, you actually don't want to look at these just yet. We want to set up other stuff. So some stuff that you guys will use for sure is Facebook. So we're going to teach you how to download those right now. It's part of the setup. Um, just before that though, I am going to teach you in settings, okay? This is very important, your settings. From here, you can connect up to different Wi-Fi networks. You can disconnect from your Wi-Fi. You can also see your usage, okay? Just tap on usage. So we can see our usage and how much each app is uh, taking up space on our tablet. We can also set up the sound. We can set up the settings for display brightness, for example, if you want it brighter. Right now, we're going to make it the brightest possible. Um, so from here, you can 
set up a lot of stuff you can see your battery so this is important uh, your settings are always important so we're just gonna go back by tapping this go back you can always tap on this home button right here okay the middle one's the home button so and then to go back to the apps you can just tap here again so sometimes it's not the most sensitive tablet but it is a little bit more sensitive than other ones I tried before so like I said what we're gonna do is go into not Google Maps but we want something that's missing from here which is Facebook okay you already do have uh, YouTube and Gmail so you can go up to those but there are other there's other apps that we might want okay so we're gonna go to Play Store which is right here so Play Store might take a while to load up don't worry about it um, now to look fast for an app we're just gonna click on here okay and we're gonna type up Facebook now you can talk to it as well but that doesn't work that well always so here's Facebook we're gonna look for it and it's free uh, a lot of these apps uh, social media apps are usually free so don't worry about it um, so we're just gonna click on this stop okay we can also see more apps that we want down here so you might want messenger for Facebook pages for Facebook might um, sometimes they do give you other suggestions as well which is good to have so I type so I tap down install now here's all well. that uh, just have to accept that and it's gonna begin downloading so you can see the bar downloading okay this will depend on your internet connection on how long it takes for it to download at this time my internet is okay so it won't take that long I'm not uploading too many things or downloading too many things on my computer uh, therefore my Wi-Fi is alright right now and um, you're gonna also see that message saying installing okay guys so once it's done installing you can either choose to open it from here so it says open and uninstall so from here you can also uninstall them um, if you made a mistake by downloading it at this moment uh, we're not going to open it from here because I want to show you how to open it right from your tablet so we're just going to click on home and there's my Facebook so I just want to show you that you also usually have other screens in the tablets but that all depends on your setup okay now this one you do have the camera and all that stuff you know, on the side okay you cannot add more stuff there unfortunately but you do have screens so you can um, go to screens that you opened okay so these are the apps that you open so right now it's settings and the play store okay so as soon as we hit um, Facebook we're also going to see that there so we're just going to open up Facebook so you can see how it looks like that's the main setup for this tablet it's pretty simple there's not much into the tablet itself it's not the fastest tablet either as you can see just setting up Facebook takes quite a while for it to load although I still haven't set up my email or anything on it so just uh, see that that's actually normal for this type of tablet to take that long it might take longer than your phone for example <clears> or <throat> loading stuff but that's normal with these type of tablets okay once you do have them set up they are a little bit faster but they're still kinda of slow setting everything up so I'm actually not gonna wait for it to you know ask me for my email and password um, you guys saw how I got in you can get out always by tapping here okay so that's your main setup for this once again all your apps okay you can click here and you can see your apps okay so now it's asking me for my email and password I won't do that right now um, I'll go back to this okay now you can set up your YouTube you can set up your other stuff now I'm going to show you YouTube for example once again the more apps you have open the slower it will be so YouTube will ask you who you are since you have a Gmail account this time you could create a channel which I suggest creating a channel just so you can ask and communicate with us on YouTube much better um, but I'm not going to say it right now once again but um, okay so that's your main setup for this type of tablet uh, there's not much more into it <clears throat> besides the Play Store where you're going to download 
Facebook and other apps that you want and uh, your Chrome that's where you're gonna search that's your main uh, Safari your main Google search will be on Chrome okay this will be just like Firefox on your laptop so you can type any URL up here you could take the tour so it shows you a little bit how it works but it's just like any other search engine out there okay so we're gonna write in YouTube again okay. Okay, so we're gonna go into it. So complete using action. We're gonna put Google Chrome. I actually just wanted to open it up there. So just once. Just once. So it's gonna insist on opening it up with the actual app. So try not to open it up from here, but you can. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, other than that, pretty basic setup guys if you guys have any questions comments about the setup of this tablet or any other tablet you can write here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you